Hello. Hi, Nehemias. Hello, Jani. Hello, teacher. Hi, how Good are evening, you, Jani? How are you today? I'm fine. You're fine. Okay, I'm glad to yes. hear that. How was your day at work? ¿Qué tal le fue en el bien. trabajo? Bien, bien, gracias a Dios. Yes. Este, sa, sí, por lo que ayer salí un poquito tarde, eh, ahora este, sa, no, despacharon media hora, media hora antes para... Pues sí, por lo de ayer, nos recompensaron. Ah, ok, congratulations. <laughs> congratulations in that case. And what is the distance between your house and, and your job? ¿Cuál es la distancia entre su trabajo y su casa? What is the distance? Eh, siento, eh, siento que es, bueno, más que todo por el tráfico, porque eh, en carro es una hora. Si no fuera así, fuera más, pero no es que esté lejos, sino que yo vivo en Cuscatancingo, pero en el centro, digamos. Uh -huh. O sea, eh, es céntrico. Eh, y trabajo en la mascota. O sea, realmente no es una distancia, considero yo, bien larga. Pero son por la zona donde me voy, el tráfico uh -huh. siempre. Salvador del Mundo, todos uh -huh. esos lugares. Entonces el tráfico es el que hace. Yeah. Y ahí si yo era peor, uh -huh. ya no es una hora, es más. <risa> yes. I'm Pero, sorry about it. But nice to have you over here. Hi, Nemias. Hello, Katia. Welcome. How Hi, are you Katia. doing? ¿Qué tal están? Are you doing well? Well. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's so, cool. so. <laughs> Why, Katia? Are you tired? Uh, sí. Ha uh, sido una semana pesada. Mm. A very heavy week. Why? Why was it heavy? Um, ¿Por qué? Todavía estoy... Uh -huh. cargando el cierre de mes, entonces ah, okay. se me desordenó todo. Ajá, uh -huh, ok. That's why. And do you have vacations on September 15th? Sí van a haber vacaciones yeah. para ustedes on the 15th. Sí. Ok, yes. so that's good. So it's going to be like a short week, cabal entre la semana. So you only work two days and you rest. And then you continue with the next two. Um, guys, before I continue, <laughs> yes, before I continue, I'm going to take the attendance, okay, so we can continue with some activities. Okay, Daisy, Yesenia, Iris, Joanna, Jennifer, Marcela, Jose, Mario, Kat, thank you, uh, Katia, Gabriela, present. Thank you, Lisette del Carmen. Maricela del Carmen. Nehemias Regalo. Present. Thank you, Nelson Alberto. Nelson René. Rafael Antonio. René Guardado. Present. Thank you, René. Rina. Rosy. Vladimir, Yanira Cepeda. Present. Thank you. And Zulma Lorena. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you, Zulma. So we will start with the first activity. I am going to send you a private message. And the message is going to contain the name of a celebrity. Okay, that message is going to contain the name of a celebrity. El mensaje va a contener el nombre de una celebridad. And you have to describe the routine of this celebrity to your partners. Tienen que describir lo que ustedes creen que sería la rutina de esta persona. And your classmates are going to guess. Y sus compañeros van a tratar de adivinar. Imagine, imagine this. Voy a empezar yo. Try to guess who I am talking about. Van a tratar de adivinar de quién hablo. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. 
Okay. I am the most important person of the nation. And I recently approved a law to use Bitcoin in the country. Do you have an idea about who I am talking about? I president. imagine, uh -huh, the president, president. <laughs> right? Okay, so you have to try to describe what he or she does, okay? Tell me things about it. Or you can even try to say that that is your role. O pueden hacerse pasar por esa persona. Okay, pueden decir lo que hacen, con quien viven. Like, my husband is Piqué. I live in Europe. Okay, so you have the idea. Okay, I will send you the private message so you can start thinking about it. Okay. I hope you know this person, Rene. I think that was his name. And then Katia, this is the one for you. And Why then, me? <laughs> and <laughs> Nehemiah, the one for you is going to be. Okay, one moment. I'm about to send it. Okay, try to start thinking about this person. Okay, so you can give information about it. And then Jani. Okay, Jani. Zulma, this is the one for you. Okay, I'm going to give you a minute. So you can get some sentences, some ideas, and then you tell me about the person. I don't know if we will have time for all of you, but we will try to, to do it with all of you. It depends on, on uh, the time that it takes you to guess. Okay, in one minute, we start. Okay, so let's start with Rene. Rene, you were the first one to receive the message. You had more time. Okay, so listen carefully to his information. Uh, I don't quite sure how to describe. <laughs> Do I your mean, best. I know that he's from here. I know that he makes a couple of songs, but that's pretty much everything that I know. Um, Let's see. Okay. Um, how do you say I am? Uh, see, I am a singer for, from El Salvador. I I do my songs related. Um, or nation, maybe. Um, I start with uh, with a song uh, like in 2010. That was my first video that I make mm -hmm. on YouTube. Uh, name it El Abandonado. Simply. Uh -huh. That's the one. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Did you like the song Terremoto? Did you sing it? That was a very popular song, right? The Terremoto one. I, I think no that I hear that I think he is, he is in jail now, right? Creo que estaba en la cárcel, lo último que supe. But I don't know. Yeah, I, I just typed it in. Uh -huh, to get some facts. The bi biography, that's right. And you just 
show me a lot of new things that you can tell. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you. Rene, choose the next person. You have Jani, Nehemias, Katia, and Sulma. Hi, Rafa. Hello, Gladys. Welcome. Who, Rene? Uh, let me see. <laughs> Uh, bueno, dígame un número. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> so, who could it be? Oh, and you also have Mario. Uh -huh. Mario is also there too. So, did you say Zulma? Yeah. Okay, Zulma. Please tell us about your your secret identity. Hi. Mm -hmm. Yes, we hear you. El que le mandé en el chat, Zulma. ¿O no lo ha visto? You have to say things about that character, about that person, so your classmates know who you are talking about. I am Cynthia. Mm -hmm. uh, Singer pop singer pop. <laughs> okay. If you want to, we will give you more time. Le vamos a dar más tiempo para que escriba algunas ideas y de ahí las puede leer. Then you can say them. Okay, so Katia. Let's let's continue with you, Katia. Okay. I am an actress and I also sing. I'm from Mexico. My most famous telenovela is Mariela del Barrio. It's a very old. Uh, me me escucha, me siente. Yes, that one. <laughs> very, yes, it was viral too. Okay, Katia, thank you. Can you continue, Nehemias? Let's see if we can guess yours. Okay, creo que se las pondré fácil. I know well that I am outside, but the day I die, I know that you will buy, will have to cry, cry and cry. No, <laughs> no, no, they don't know. <laughs> they don't know yet. Um, I song. Uh, Music rancheras. Try to... Vicente Fernandez. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, he sang a piece of it. Quise Thank cantar, you. pero no uh -huh. pude. <laughs> it was good. I understood because I knew. Uh -huh. So, okay. Thank you, Nehemias. Are you ready, Jenny? Okay. Uh, I uh, I single. I li I like to da dance, the party. I live in, in Miami. I live with my husband. I like to the travel. Tenía algo para decirlo, pero van a adivinar rápido. 
é, a, a I, did, I live in, in Cuba. I like to dance, I like party. Celia Cruz. Yes. Sí. Uh -huh. <laughs> She was from there. Sure. Que sí se puede en las canciones de antes. Bueno, somos casi de la misma época, right? Así que eran clásicas. So, yes. Soy mayor que usted. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, maybe most of you. Okay, thank you. Then, Mario, are you ready? Are you there, Mario? Oh, no, Mario, I didn't give you one, right? Okay, well, in that case, uh, Sulma, did you, did you write down some? Oh, the, the microphone. Solo que Sulma, fíjese que no sé por qué se oye bien raro cuando habla. No sé si será. Ah. Ah, ok. Mm. Ah, ah, ok. Yes, Ulma, read your sentences, please. How long has it as the king of God? Retornado. Remember. Okay. Mm -hmm. with mm, I think it's difficult to understand because of the of the microphone. Creo que casi no, no se entiende Zulma por el inconveniente del micrófono. Creo que casi no, solo unas palabritas se oían. Casi sí, dijo King, uh -huh. the King uh -huh. of Pop, uh -huh. Michael Jackson. Yes, he was the one. And she said zombies too, like the, I think it's Thriller, right? The, the very popular song. Thriller, that's right. Uh -huh. Okay, Surma, thank you. Going to, to mute you. Okay, so we will continue. Today we start unit number four, the last one, right? The last one of this level. I will start by showing you something. Let me just go to the, to the right page. Okay, this, this unit is about technical support, tech support. So you're going to find vocabulary about that. Esta unidad es bastante sobre technical support. Se me ha ido la, la palabra en Spanish, pero es lo de problemas técnicos, ¿verdad? So it's about problems, problems with devices, problemas con aparatos, problems with devices. So here I am going to read three different conversations showing you how to report an internet problem. Les voy a leer tres diferentes conversaciones que hablan de cómo reportar problemas con el internet. I'm going to read three different conversations about how to report internet problems. This is number one. We have A and B. I need somebody to come over and fix my internet. What's wrong with it? For some reason, it's just not connecting. How long have you been having this problem? Mm, it hasn't been working in the past few days. Does the internet come up at all? It does, but it won't connect to anything. Well, the internet isn't down. So there must be something wrong with your connection. Could you send someone to fix it today? I'll send somebody over right away to fix it. When will they be there? 
They should be there in the next hour. Number two, conversation number two. I need to get my internet fixed. What's the problem with your internet? It won't connect. How long has this been happening? This problem has been happening for a few days now. The internet doesn't come, come up at all. It, will, it just won't connect to a web page, but it will pop up. There's obviously a problem with your connection. I'm going to need someone to come and fix it for me. I can send somebody right now to fix it. How long will it take for them to get here? They'll be here, there, I'm sorry, in about an hour. Conversation number three. Can you send someone to fix my internet? Are you having a problem with it? My internet is having problems connecting. Can you tell me how long your internet has been messing up? I've been having this problem for the last few days. Will the internet even pop up? It'll pop up, but it won't connect to a web page. Since the internet isn't broken, your connection must be messed up. Do you think you can send somebody over to fix it? If you like, I can send someone to fix it right now. How long will it be till they get here? It should be no longer than an hour. Okay, now I'm going to return to the first conversation. Give me one moment. Okay, conversation number one. I know that you have new vocabulary. I know there must be new vocabulary here, but I need you to try to understand the problem. Conversation number one. What is the problem, Melmias? In conversation number one, what is the problem? Sé que todavía no tienen todo el vocabulario, pero con lo que entendemos más o menos, Nehemías, ¿cuál es el problema? What is the problem in conversation number one? What do you think will be the problem? Is not connecting. What? What is not connecting? <laughs> oh, I know. Okay, but thank you, Naomi. Yes, it's it's there. Okay, Rafa, what about you? What is the problem in conversation number one? I don't hear you, Rafa. I don't hear you. No sound. Do you hear me? Me escucha, Rafa? I don't, we don't hear you. No le oímos. Ahora? Yes. Ahora? Mm -hmm. okay. yes, now I do. This problem is not connect the internet. Uh -huh. Correct, that is what is not connecting. The internet won't connect to anything. That is the problem. Thank you, Rafa. Okay, Vladimir, what is the solution? What is the solution for the problem, Vladimir?
No, okay, that's all right. Can you help me, Mario? Do you have a possibility, an idea, Mario? What is the problem? I'm sorry, what is the solution, Mario? For the problem about the internet, not connecting. Send somebody. Uh huh. To send. Somebody an agent, right? To send a person to the house or to the company to fix the problem. Thank you, Mario. Yes, so problem, the internet doesn't connect. Solution, to send a person to repair the problem. Okay, thank you. Now conversation number two. Conversation number two, it's, it's like starting here. Um, here, number two. Um, one moment. Okay, we will start with. Okay, Katia, what is the problem in conversation number two? The don't connect connect the internet. Uh -huh, it is the same problem, right? Now, to be more specific, the internet won't connect to a website. Do you know this, this verb, pop up? Like popcorn, it pops up. Pop up. Pop up es como algo, como las ventanas emergentes, si como, no me equivoco. Como algo que que surge, que aparece, como cuando uno aprieta el botón para ir al internet, al browser, sale, y pop-ups, eso es pop-up, es acción, cuando aparece así, pop-up, pero no conecta, it won't connect to the, page, the web page. Ok, Katia, thank you. And now, René, what is the solution? The solution for problem number two. Well, um, the solution was that he would send someone else over mm -hmm. there to, to look at the, the connection. Correct. To send somebody, right? Maybe. In about one hour, one person is going to be there. I think that is what you do when you call Claro, right? Or you call Tigo or other internet companies. When they, when you can't fix it, they send someone to your house to fix the problem. Okay, conversation number three. Yeah. Thank you, Rene. Conversation number three. Okay, <laughs> Jani, what is the problem? What is the problem in conversation number three? Uh, the microphone, Jen. Uh having problem connect, connecting. Mm -hmm. Again, connection problems, right? We can use this phrase, the internet is messing up. It's a phrase to say that the internet has problems. The internet is messing up. It's giving you issues. It's giving you problems. Okay, yes, Jenny, that is the problem. Now, number two, question number two. Hi, Marce, what is the solution? What is the solution for conversation number three? Problem number three. Um. <laughs> 
Lo que dice, I can send someone to fix, to fix mm -hmm. it. Yes, Marce, that will be the solution. To send someone to fix the problem immediately or right now. Okay. Um, do you want to ask something? Si es sobre el vocabulary, lamentablemente debido al tiempo no les voy a poder ayudar con todo el vocabulario. Si ustedes desean, les puedo mandar el documento para que hagan la investigación porque tenemos bastantes cosas que abarcar. Pero no sé si quieren hacerme otra pregunta. About this part. Que no sea sobre el vocabulary. No, yo Ajá. tengo una, pero yes. no sé si. La diferencia entre won y could. Mm, Ahí, no uh -huh. sé si te podrías quedar en una, en una sesión de 10 minutos porque me tomaría unos minutos explicarte, pero yo okay. con gusto, si tú quieres, te puedes okay. quedar en una sesión y yo te explico. Lo vamos a ir viendo, lo vamos a ver. Pero creo, si no me equivoco, que está en el siguiente módulo, los dos. Pero okay. si quieres quedarte, yo, yo te explico. No es porque no okay. quieras, sino porque es algo larga la explicación para eso. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Katia. Okay. Um, okay, well, then we will continue. I'm going to share with you the book. Remember, we are in unit number four. Okay. So, question for Rina. Are you there, Rina? Rina? Oh, yes. Okay, Rina, hello. Do you ever call tech support? Or how often? That question means how often do you call tech support? That is what the question means. <laughs> Eso es lo que la pregunta significa. Do you ever call tech support? Significa am, how often? Mm -hmm. I am um, never call I, tech support. Never. Never. Wow. OK. All right. Thank you, Rina. Solo el never, colóquelo antes del verbo. I never call tech support. Thank you, Rina. And okay. what about you, Sulma? Do you ever call tech support? When do you yes, do? I do? When do you do it? When do you, when do you do uh, you problem the system? system? When you have problems uh -huh, with the systems. Correct. Thank you, Sulma. Okay, and you, Nehemias, do you ever call technical tech support, maybe at home or in the office? And when yes. do you do uh, it? Uh, in your workplace or in your house? Uh, Amber. Both. You can say both. 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 When? Uh, the connection or velocidad. The speed. The you speed. have problems with the speed. Yes. The speed of your connection, your internet. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, Nehemias, thank you. And Rafa, what about you? Do you ever call tech support? Usted trabaja en algo así, no sé si los llama también. When do you yes, do it? The provider service, ah, uh, yeah. the internet, phone. Mm -hmm. I, I call. This How phone. often? ¿Qué tan a menudo? Um, How often? Three once a month. Three Depends. times. A month. Sometimes one. Ah, okay. Yes, depends. In, en invierno, eh, cuando es que está lloviendo, es mucho más. Ajá. <laughs> uh -huh. So you can say it depends. 
Or you can say it depends on the necessity. Sometimes when, when you have emergencies, right? So you can say it depends on the necessity. Okay, Rafa, okay. thank you. And what about you, Vladimir? Do you ever call tech support? When yes, sure. Do um, yes, I call the support in, in my work because mm -hmm. in my computer mm -hmm. have a actualization updates updates the window uh -huh. and my computer is very um lenta slow slow mm -hmm. so you contact them you call yes. tech support and they they help you yes okay vladimir thank you for your answers i'm going to read i'm going to read the conversation okay that is about reporting an issue making a phone call to report issues or problems with um, your devices we have peter and robert Good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resources Department. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Okay, in this moment, I'm going to separate you. I'm going to divide you. So you and your partner can practice the conversation. And then secondly, you have to discuss, discuss the questions. What is the issue with Robert's computer and how does he report the problem? En este momento los voy a separar para que usted y su compañero repitan la conversación y luego respondan las preguntas que se hacen en la parte de abajo. Ok, I'm going to separate you, read the conversation, and then answer the questions. Is it clear? Si estamos bien? Yes? Ok. And then in about maybe five minutes, en alrededor de cinco minutos o menos, los voy a traer acá de nuevo, so we can share the answers, para que repasemos o veamos las respuestas. Okay, Marce, please work with Nehemias. And then, oh, that is, I would, I, I would, that is what it means, Rafa. Tomorrow we will study that a little bit more. Mm -hmm. That is what we will study with the grammar. And then Katia, you're going to work with René. Number three, we will have Rafa and Rina. Number four, Mario and Vladimir. Jani and Zulma. Okay, in five minutes or four, we're back.
Hello there, welcome back. Okay, in this moment, we are going to compare, compare answers to see if we have the same information. Okay, so Marce and then Katia, question number one. Uh, the question says, what is the issue with Robert's computer? We start with Marce. It doesn't seem to work. Okay, thank you, Marce. Katia? The computer doesn't work. Rina? Um, Gina, I, I don't hear you. <laughs> what is the problem with the computer? Um, no, 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 leí hasta ahí, dice. no, no, uh, okay. Vladimir, what does, what do you and Mario have? What is the answer? Okay, a problem with the computer. Thank you. And Jani, what do you have? Jani, uh, what is the uh, issue? Is de la uno, verdad? Yes, number is, one. Is, is doesn't seem to work? Seem to doesn't work? seem to work. Okay, yes, mm -hmm. that is the answer. Or what you also said, Katia, the, the answers you provided, they are all correct. Question number two, we start with Nehemiah. How does he report the problem? What did you guys write down? He called for human resource. He calls. He calls for. Uh, for mm. human resource. Okay. So. We will. We will. Sorry. Yes. Iba a decir algo más, Nehemiah. Sorry. No. Regir resource. Resource. Ah, resources. Resource. Ok, vamos a ver eso un poquito más, pero vamos a ver las demás respuestas. René, how does he report the problem? Uh, he get in contact with the tech support line to report okay. the problem. Ok, thank you. Rafa, what is the answer of your, of you and Rina? How does he report the problem? Uh, just activate the microphone, Rafa. He calls a department. He calls technical support. Okay. Uh -huh. And then Mario, what is the answer that you you put? Sorry, the please. Please. Number two, Mario, how does he report the problem? Do you guys have that one, Vladimir and, and Mario? Question number two. Uh, calling, calling from the human resource department. Ah, okay. All right. Thank you, Mario. And Zulma, what is your answer? He's calling the human resources. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, thank you, Zulma. So just, just one comment. The answer is he calls or contacts Tech support, that will be the answer. Okay, solo algo que les quería um, comentar. Acá cuando está la preposición from, es que ellos están llamando de ese department. 
No para ese department. Ellos son de ahí. They are from, from human, the human resources department. Son de ahí. Es, es And they are de calling este. de, como de origen. Como, como que yo dijera, I work from home. El origen de algo, utilizamos la preposición from. Or I am from El Salvador. Entonces, no es el de, de, como que está llamando a Human Resources, el SDS Department. Do you have a comment, Nehemias? No, decir eh, desde o de, sí. del Departamento de Recursos Humanos. Puede interpretarse como de este y de, dependiendo del contexto que esté. Ok. Acá sería como de, pero no siempre es así. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, so questions. Is there something that you would like to ask? Rafa ask about this. And you guys, do you have other questions about this? Something that you would like to ask? We will talk. We will talk about this, about what the class, tomorrow class is about that. <clears throat> But in this moment, We are going to study how to use that. Oops, sorry. Uh, give me a second. <clears throat> okay, so here, we are going to study in this moment ways to report a problem, okay? Maneras de reportar problemas, ways to report a problem. I'm going to put it here. Ways to report a problem. And I'm going to give you some phrases that you can use when you want to report a problem. And then I will, I will explain, okay? But I'm going to I'm going to put them over here. Okay, let me just separate this. We have the issues. Okay, so ways to report a problem. What you see over here. There are at least three possibilities. Por lo menos tienen unas tres maneras. There are more. Number one, you can say, I would like to report a problem. What does it mean? I will magnify this. Would, it means I want, I want to report a problem. What is the difference? And we will study this a little bit more tomorrow, but just for you to have an idea. Vamos a estudiarlo más mañana, pero solo para que tengan como una idea. Um, would is more polite, more professional. Would. And want is, is more rude when you ask for something. Okay, would es como más profesional o educado, would. And want, it could sound sometimes a little bit mean. I mean, if you have two possibilities, go with would. Cuando queremos pedir algo. Vamos con would para sonar más professional, eh, polite. And want is como plain, seco, just like that. Okay, so I would, I would like to report a problem. Sorry about this. I would like to report a problem. 
Number two, I would like to report an issue. Issue, it means problem. Issue is problem. Okay, that is what issue means. Number three, I have trouble with. What is trouble? Is equal to problem. Okay, it is the same. Trouble, issue, problem, three words, same definition, same meaning. Issue, trouble, problem. We're talking about this, the same. I will, I have trouble with, I have a problem with, and you mentioned what? Example, I have a problem, I have trouble with my internet, my computer, my radio, my laptop, etc. It doesn't connect, as an example, okay? It doesn't turn on, okay? You mentioned the problem, the problem with the device. Ustedes mencionan el problema que tienen con el aparato. You mentioned the problem with the device. Okay, do you want to ask something in this moment? Estamos hablando de cómo reportar. Reportar un problema técnico. Mencionamos que hay por lo menos acá tres maneras que suenan, suenan bien, de una manera profesional y educada. I would like to report a problem. I would like to report an issue. I have trouble with. They sound very good. And here you have the meaning. Aquí tienen que significa issue and trouble. The same, different alternatives. Do you want to ask a question? Quisiera preguntar algo. Is there something you would like to ask? Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. uh, the word uh, I need no, no aplica. Ah, uh, yes, yes, you can use it, but it indicates more um, like I would say necessity, but yes, solo que suena un poco más como ¿Cuál sería la palabra con need? No sé qué palabra utilizar. Need da un tono más como, como de alguien superior a alguien de un rango más bajo, como quiero esto. I need this. En cambio, would mm -hmm. se oye como alguien que lo pide con, como con más amor, con más manera. Ah, y need sí. es como más... Como más autoridad. Ajá, como arregle esto. Necesito. Sur, ajá. ajá. Entonces, sí se puede. Y más si uno está enojado, right? I need to fix my computer. <laughs> sí se puede utilizar. <laughs> pero si usted quiere sonar así bien amable, bien educado. Lo necesito para allá que lo repare. Ajá, si es así, <laughs> vamos con need. Yes. Okay. Ajá. Any other questions? No. Okay. So, common issues to report. Now I'm going to give you a list of different problems to report. Les voy a dar como una lista de diferentes problemas que se pueden, que se pueden reportar. Okay, um, here you have three. It doesn't seem to work. Do you understand that one? Number one, it doesn't seem to work. Yes, no. Number one. Yes, we're fine. Okay, number two, it makes a strange or funny noise. Do you know the meaning of noise? Noise, era como lo de los grillos que escuchaban ustedes ayer con mi microphone. Es un sonido. Okay, funny, funny noise, or it could be Strange, strange is like raro, strange. Like this, ayer el problema que reportaban, right? Your microphone, I can say your microphone. 
makes a strange noise. Okay, y aquí estamos reporting the problem. Your microphone makes a strange noise. Okay, ahí está. Ya para reportar algo. Okay, and next, it doesn't turn on. Como cuando la computadora no enciende, or anything, it doesn't turn, turn on. Here, I have more. Here you have other problems, common problems that we have with devices. Aquí tienen otra lista de problemas comunes in which we have to sometimes call tech support. New software, no internet access, a virus, deleted files, cuando se borraron los documentos, deleted files, paper stock in printer, cuando se traba el papel en la impresora, paper stock in printer, USB ports out of order, cuando no funcionan los puertos de USB. There you have it. That could be the, the word to say it. Funny noise in the CPU. Funny noise in the CPU. And frozen screen. Cuando se congela la pantalla. Frozen screen. Okay, do you have other ideas? Tienen alguno otro que quisieran saber cómo se dice en English? Other common problems? Vladimir mentioned one, right? Creo que Vladimir mencionó um, slow computers or slow speed of internet. I have more, but I don't know if you want to mention some. No sé si ustedes quieren alguno. Sí. Yo quisiera saber cómo era para reportar problemas de la, del monitor cuando está, como le decimos, turn on and turn off. Estoy liando en español, pero I don't quite sure how to say it. What will be... ¿Qué estaría haciendo el, el CPU? It's like, ajá, uh -huh, no, the, 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 the screen. The monitor. The screen is like parpadeando. Um, you can say that the screen is going in and out. You can use that phrase. Yeah, Or but you I can... remember. Mm -hmm. There's another term that you have. Yeah, there is. Oh, okay. Because I hear it once that they say something like flickering or something like that. I don't remember quite sure the word, but it sounds like flickering, flickering. Oh, okay. that, mm. On and off. No, I don't remember those ones. I will go with like the screen is going on and off. On and off. On and off. Yeah, I put that one too. But that concept you're looking for, maybe that specific term that is given to that problem, I don't have it in mind. I can try to investigate, and if I, I discover it, I'll send a message to you because that's the one I have I have in mind so far. Flickering. Flickering. Something like that. It sounds something like that. Yeah. Okay, yes, if I know, I'm going to let you know because I am, um, uh -huh. I don't know that one that you're talking about. The other ones I have here is for example, overheating. This is an, another common problem, overheating. And I will put it here. Cuando se sobrecalienta, overheating. Cuando algo se sobrecalienta. The computer is overheating. Uh, one second. Ah, uh, yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Naomi. I'm going to take the attendance before I continue. And then I'll give you.
some other words. After I give you the list, then we will start practicing, practicing this a little bit more. Okay, so we start with Daisy Yesenia. Present. Thank you. And then it is Joanna. Jennifer Marcela. Present. Thank you. Jose Mario. Katia Gabriela. Present. Thank you. Lisette del Carmen. Maricela del Carmen. Thank you, Maricela. Nehemiah. Thank you. Nehemiah's Regalo. Present. Thank you. Nelson Alberto. Then Nelson René. Rafael Antonio. Present. Thank you. René Guardado. Present. Rina Espinosa. Present. Okay. Rosy Melendez. Vladimir Antonio. Present. Okay. Yanira Cepeda. Enzulma Present. Lorena. Thank you so much. Okay, so I'm just going to give you the, the list of some common problems that we can report. Okay, so we have overheating. And now I'm going to share with you other ones. Okay, slow internet. And when the screen is, this is the way we would say it. The screen is blank. Okay, sometimes it would look like it's, it's black. You don't see anything at all. We can say the screen is blank. And let me see another common problem. Um, the printer, printer is out of, Ink, cuando la impresora ya no tiene tinta. The printer is out of ink. Okay, so there you have some, some problems. Common problems with equipment, electronic devices. Do you have a question? Is there something you would like to ask? Questions? No. Okay, so let's continue practicing, but now we will continue here. I'm going to share the book. And we will continue here. You have to think about three electronic devices. Tienen que pensar en tres aparatos electrónicos, okay? Three electronic devices. And then you have to write down one or two common problems with that equipment. Y luego tienen que escribir common problems with that equipment. Example. Okay, I will say this is the, the first electronic device, a projector. Number two, laptop, and then you mention two or three common problems. Y luego van a mencionar problemas que les dé ese, ese aparato. Now, the difficulty, tal vez la parte difícil acá, is that you have to think about electronic devices in your office. Los que les dan problemas en su trabajo, in your office. Okay, así que piensen en su área. Three, um, three electronic devices. Vladimir, do you have a comment? No. No, oh, okay. Or you guys, do you understand the activity? Entendemos que vamos a hacer. Yes. 
Okay. When you have them, you can send it by chat you, or you can read them. Cuando los tengan, los pueden enviar en el chat or you can read them. Los pueden leer. I have a problem. <laughs> what is your problem? I don't silent my microphone. You can't. Ah, you can silent your microphone or mute it. Okay, I, I just did it, <laughs> Vladimir. Sorry if I interrupted you. ¿Cuántos son los que tenemos que hacer? Three electronic devices and two or three common problems for each. For each, okay. Mm -hmm. Eh, teacher, una pregunta. Ajá. Eh, son tres de electrónico, pero el de los problemas, ¿verdad? En two so. or three problems. Tres Ajá. electrónicos serían dos o tres problemas de cada electrónico. Ah, ok. O sea que en total tendría alrededor de, de unas seis a nueve oraciones. Tres okay. o dos por cada una. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. 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 I will put it here. Three.
Hi, how are you doing? Are you ready? Has anybody finished? No. In you, Rene, you haven't finished yet. Yeah, I have a couple of questions. You have some. How yeah. many do you have? Five. Oh, okay. Okay, can you share them, please? Yeah, the first one are the headset. One more time. Headset. Sorry, can you send it by chat? Headset. Ah, the headset. Okay, sorry, I didn't get it. Mm -hmm. So the most common problem with that one, they don't. That um, sometimes they are not able to um, they won't connect to the, to the computer to show like a message or something like that. Things that are not doesn't they give the right, uh, right. Uh, yeah okay mm -hmm. or sometimes the, the, the mic just die so fragile that at some point when you use it um, you put it down you put it up you, you move it up or down at some point that will break the, the mic but mm -hmm. it, won't, it won't work and um, we have also the CPU which is the, the computer and the most common problem that I find that my job is that it won't turn on, that it seems a problem with the power outlet at some time, or just the, the hard disk drive just died. So they need to be replaced. And other problem is that they don't have enough space. That we use it that one a lot on daily basis. So mm -hmm. Usually, they get out, running out of it. So. Um, and the last one, I have the printer. That, mm -hmm. is, that one gives a lot of problems. <laughs> yeah, that, that one have a lot. But, but one of the, the main problems, I guess, I think that it is when the paper just get stuck. Mm -hmm. uh, or just when you send the, the, the document to be printed, the, the, the printer is not correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's... Okay. Very good. Thank you, Rene. You did well. Okay. So let's see who else can share, can share common problems with the devices. Katia or Nehemiah. Rafa, who is ready? Nehemiah, you are. Hola. And okay. Katia too. Okay, Nehemiah, let's listen to Katia first, Nehemiah, and then we, we hear you. Thank you. Yes, Katia, what is, um, what do you have? Okay. My computer doesn't have access to internet. Mm -hmm. In my computer, uh, the screen is blank. Mm -hmm. the, I, my, the printer do not have paper. Just doesn't, if it is one. Does. Uh -huh. Or printers, okay. plural or singular. Como solo uno, sí, ah, okay. <laughs> okay, the printer is not working. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, it's, it's not working. De ahí, the projector. It doesn't turn, turn on. Mm -hmm. Is overheating. The projector. Mm -hmm. The projector is overheating. Uh -huh, okay, thank you. Do you have more or is that it? <laughs> okay, thank you, Katia. Very good. So, Nehemias, can you continue? Okay, uh, laptop. It will not charge the battery. Uh, the system doesn't, does not charge. Uh, the screen broke. And printer. Mm -hmm. Uh, jump the paper uh, of network print with a spot for manchas uh, and yes and cell phone uh, no señal ah okay you can say no se uh, signal Signal, no mm -hmm. signal, it does not turn on mm -hmm. and white screen. Ah, okay, say so blank, blank yes. screen. Okay, ah, thank okay. you, thank you very much. And okay, Marce, yes, you can share your document, please. I think you can, you have, oh, wait. You can do it now, Mars. Thank you. Uh, can you read them, Mars? Just activate the microphone. Ay, lo siento, teacher, no veía mm -hmm. dónde decía por el audio. Ah, cuando... ah okay. <laughs> Dice, cell phone, it is slow when memory is full. It is overheating when used a long time. Mm -hmm. Battery runs out very quickly. Mm -hmm. Printer. Sometimes the paper gets jammed, que se queda Jam. como atascado. Mm -hmm. It's out of ink when I make a lot of photocopies. Mm -hmm. Yes. Como que en tinta. Correct. Dice router, el del internet, así creo que se escribe router. Ajá, uh -huh. router. Like. No signal when many people are connected. Mm -hmm. When it rains, the internet signal goes out. Mm -hmm. It gets slow. So Very good. Good structures. How do you know about running out? ¿Cómo sabías el de, de, de run out? ¿Qué significa? Uh -huh. ¿Dónde lo puse? <laughs> <laughs> they said the battery runs out. Ah, ese lo vi en un manual, pero ah, cuando se okay. tiene que hacer uno. Ajá, uh -huh. aquí tiene uno. Ajá, uh -huh. sí, no sé porque... <laughs> no sé cómo dejar de compartir pantalla. Ajá, uh -huh. okay, I can help you with that. Yes, because run out is a phrasal verb, que significa algo distinto de lo que te veí. Run out es irse acabando, algo que se está acabando, run out. Entonces, so good, Jenny. Bueno, Marce, it's good. Okay, we have time for one more, and then I will, I can read them. Rina, yo creo que usted los mandó en el, en el grupo. Oh, no. Do you want to read them, Rina? Los puede leer. Just activate the microphone. O lo va a enviar al grupo. 
Ahorita los envié, teacher, pero ah, okay. los igual los leo. Ok, please. Uh, the computer mm -hmm. does not turn on. The computer does not recognize. Recognize. Sería reconocer. Recognize. No reconoce, mm -hmm. Recognize the barcode reader. Mm -hmm. The computer does not recognize the USB USB, USB. Mm -hmm. USB port. Uh, pricing. The pricing tears, tears up. The invoices at the time of, of printing. The printer starts off. The printer does not print the invoices. Uh, Yo puse el, el sistema, pero no sé si me lo... Problemas con el sistema también. Mm -hmm. System problems. The system, uh -huh. the system losses, the invoices. I have problem with the system. It does not prime my invoices. I have very slow internet. Very good, Trina. Thank you. Okay, I'm not able to hear all of you, but you can send them in the group or by chat. Los pueden seguir enviando ahí. Rafa, Yanni, Daisy, Zulma, no la escuché tampoco. Pueden enviármelo en el grupo o aquí en el chat y yo lo leo. Ok, we have to continue with the next activity. Ok, you have some information about, about how to report problems. So now we continue with part number six. Number one, first you have to discuss the, the problems, the problems that you mentioned with your partner, and you can see if you have problems in common. And then you have to practice reporting one of those problems to a classmate. And then we will change, we will exchange roles. Okay. Cada quien tiene diferentes problemas con sus aparatos, ¿verdad? Ok, primero van a escoger uno de esos problemas y van a, a hacer como reportar el problema, así como por llamada. Van a hacer una conversación en la que estén reportando el problema a un technical support agent. Entonces, uno va a ser el de technical support y el otro va a ser el, el que tiene el problema, the person. But aquí vamos a hacer dos role plays. Luego vamos a cambiar de roles y el que fue technical support agent ahora va a ser la, el customer y el que fue customer ahora va a ser el de tech support. Así que van a haber dos rounds. Así que vamos a hacerlo así. I'm going to separate you and first you practice conversation number one. En la primera vuelta van a practicar la primera ronda. Luego damos el role play y los vuelvo a enviar a su, a su room para que ahora practiquen el otro, cambiando de roles. Do you understand? Sí. What we will be doing? Two conversations, pero van a cambiar su rol. Y van a utilizar la información que tienen de su compañía. Okay, so let me just recreate the rooms because we will work in, oh, okay, let me see. Marcela, continue working with Nehemias. Katia, you continue working with Rene. Rafa, who were you working with? With Rina, right? Rina, usted estaba trabajando con, con Rafa. And then, Jani and Zulma. Okay, open the room. And Rina, I'm going to send you with, with Rafa. And you, Daisy, can you participate? Hola. Hi, Daisy, si puede participar en la clase. Sí. Ok, estamos sí. practicando reportar problemas de tech support. No sé si logró hacer su, su lista, Daisy. Justo ahorita se lo, ah, lo acabo de terminar. 
Ok, debido a que no estamos pares, hagamos así, Daisy. En su caso, cree la conversation en papel, como un diálogo. Créelo en forma de diálogo y cuando lo termine me lo manda a mí. En la primera vuelta. Y en la segunda vuelta yo voy a ser su compañera. Así que puede dar la conversation conmigo. Son dos conversaciones. Si quiere, en la que haga conmigo, puede ser, puede ser usted el de atención al cliente, si gusta. El de technical support. O puede ser la, el cliente, the customer. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok, me lo va a enviar entonces ahorita. La lista. La anterior. La de los problems. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí, ahorita. ahorita. Ah, ok, ya lo acabo de recibir. Computer. Puse refrigeradora porque este, tenemos por las insulinas. Ah. Ah, okay. ah nosotros tenemos refrigeradora en la farmacia. Mm, les da problema a veces. Okay. Ajá, sí, es que la insulina no se puede tener así. Sí, sí. pero les da problema a las refri. Ah, dice que no sí. congela. Doesn't oh, freeze. Pues, <risa> lo puse así, pero no, 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 no da problema. Ajá, sí, porque si les da problema, se les arruina toda la medicina. Ah, lo puse solo como ejemplo. Ah, ok. Eh, la otra de refrigerator don't close, hay que poner doesn't. Doesn't close the door, porque ah, sería uno. Ah, ah ok. okay. Ahora está Vladimir acá. Entonces, si ¿sí pueden trabajar ustedes juntos. Hi, Vladimir. Ha tenido problemas con su connection. Sí, sí, me sacó. Y me costó sí, conectarme. Así vi, así vi que desapareció un momento. Fíjese que estamos en round de, de role plays, practicando reportar, con, eh, reportar problemas por medio de llamada. Entonces, estamos en esta parte del libro. Pero vamos a hacer un poco distinto ahora las conversations. Primero porque se va a basar en eso, de que usted tiene que reportar su problema, ¿verdad? A, a technical support. Va a ser de caso que está llamando a technical support, que está reportando su problema para que esa persona le ayude. Um, no sé, creo que, no sé si se fue antes o después de lo que estábamos haciendo de los problemas. No. Eh, no. Me fui antes. Antes, sí, antes. Sí, hace un rato. Ok, entonces la idea es que va a utilizar un problema, Vladimir, que tenga en su compañía, en el banco. O sea, si usted llama en representación okay. del banco, es un problema del banco. Ese va a ser el primer role play. Cuando regresen, lo van a dar y luego van a volver a irse y van a cambiar de roles. Daisy va a ser la, el customer y usted va a ser el de technical support. Y Daisy le va a decir un problema como de la farmacia, right, Daisy? Usted trabaja en una farmacia, si no me equivoco. Sí. Ok. Sí. Entonces, ahorita va un role play. Los voy a enviar a un room para que comiencen a, ahí a, a practicar. Let me okay. send you the invitation. Daisy, and now Vladimir. Ya sí, el dice el mouse inalámbrico no me funciona. Yo Hi, sorry to interrupt. Is there something I can help you with? Estamos armando la conversación. Ah, ok. No sé si tienen dudas. No. Eh, ¿El mouse inalámbrico sería optical mouse? O wireless. Mouse? Wireless uh -huh. mouse. mouse. Lo voy a enviar en el chat. Ok. Wireless. Es como el Wi-Fi. Wireless. Es sin cables. Wireless ah. mouse. Wireless mouse. Uh -huh. 
Okay. Bye. Okay, so if you don't have questions, I'm going to go. Si no tienen dudas, entonces los voy a dejar que sigan. Okay. Sí, okay. No, no, no. See, you. See you in a moment then. Creo que ya okay. en dos minutos máximo volvemos al main room, porque okay. falta un round todavía, ¿verdad? So, okay, okay. see you. Okay. Hi. How are you doing? Hola. Qué raro verlo así, René, de lado. Oh, es que estoy cargando el teléfono. Ah, ok. Now it's better. Okay. Yes, now it's better. How is your conversation going? Have you finished? Sí, estamos discutiendo la, la siguiente. Ah, ok, good. Yeah, using the, the time in a productive way. It's nice because we only have one more minute. Because remember, <laughs> we have two rounds. So we will start with the first round and then you have to come back here. Okay, so I wanted yeah. to know if you had questions for me, but it looks like you don't, right? No. Yeah, not at all. No. Okay, well, if you're ready, let's go back to the main room and I, I start with you. Since you're ready, we can start with you. Okay. Okay, see you there. Okay, we will wait for René to be here. And when he comes, you can, you can start. Pero sí, Katia, si quieres te puedes quedar ahora o mañana o pasado. No, Monday. Y ex te explico lo de, sí. lo de would and could. Estuve viendo, este, como no pude con la curiosidad, ¿verdad? Ah. Estuve viendo que Ajá. el negativo de will, ¿verdad? Entonces ah. sería ah. como Want. de futuro, ¿verdad? De, ah, de sí, querer sí, sí. cosas a futuro. Ajá. Entonces... Mejor no, no me por ahora. <risa> ok, bien. Pero sí, si quieres ahí, yo, porque son, okay. si lo digo así muy rápido, voy a dejarte igual, mejor así lento. Ok, well, now okay. that everyone is back, we will start with, with Katia and René. Ok, so you may start. The microphone, Rene. You are muted. Sorry. Uh, Katia, do you want to be the, the, the tech support guy? Uh, no, you, you start. Uh, OK, I will. Uh, uh -huh. OK. <laughs> uh, thanks for calling Tigo. My name Renee, technical support. You are calling the technical support department. How can I help you today? I would like to report a problem with my router. It doesn't turn on. Right, the router it doesn't turn on. Okay, and did you see any light on the router right now? Uh, no. Don't send, don't see any light. Don't see any light. Don't see any light. And the router is plugging in to the outlet? Um, yes. It is connected. Okay. Mm -hmm. And when do you start to having this problem with the router? Um, for a few weeks. No, I'm having well, this problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I just checked it, check it, uh, the connection. I can see the router connected. So in this case, we will send you a uh, uh, technician to your, to your place. So we will take care to get that one. Okay, thank you. Sure, you're welcome. Is there anything else can I do for you today? 
for now, no. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for calling me Katie and have a nice day. <laughs> nice no, okay, me. that sounds very, <laughs> very common in TP. Okay, thank you, Katia, and thank you, Rene. Very well, um, I'll give you guys feedback at the end, okay? But for now, we will continue with Rafa and Rina. Can you continue, please? Just remember to activate okay. the microphone. Mm -hmm. Hi, Rina, sorry. I have problems with the system. Hi, Rina. Ahorita, Rafa, no me he conectado el audio. Okay. Hi, Rina. Sorry, I have a problems with the system. Hello. How can I help you, Rafa? My computer is not connect the system. I see, Rafa. The problem is your computer, it's not connect the network. You can connect the network cable, please. Okay, thank you. Oh, you finish. Yes, ah, okay. Thank you, Rina, thank you, Rafa. Let's continue in that case. Let me see Marce and Nehemias. Okay. Uh, hello, technical support. My name is Nehemias. How can I help you? Hi, Nehemias. It's Marcel. I have a problem with my laptop. What's your problem? The wireless mouse does, doesn't work for me. Okay, plug the USB into another port. Yes, I'll be ready to try it. Uh, have already checked check the battery? Yes, I checked it. Okay, uh, okay. Make the warranty claim in the store. Okay, I will return it tomorrow. Thank you, Nemia. Okay. Okay, thank you very much, Marce and Nemia. And then we continue with Jani and Zulma. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. Hola. Hi, Yanira. Hi, my Zulma. Name, my name is Zulma Lopez from the planning department. Hi, Zulma. I am Yanira, the, ten, the tech support. What is the problem? My laptop does not connect on the server. Uh, Sulma, at this moment, the server is banning checking. When it is ready, they will notify you. Thanks. Thank you. Please confirm it when ready. Okay, Sulma. Thank ready. you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Jani and Zulma. Vladimir and Daisy, ready? Yes, ustedes comenzaron antes. Okay, en este second round que vamos, entonces ahorita puede terminar esa. Five minutes, up to five minutes, and then we're back in five minutes or four.
teacher, mándeme otra vez. <ríe> Le di enter y era... No puedo enviarlo ya ahora que una vez que se han regresado no me da la opción hasta que pase el minuto. I'm sorry. <ríe> Improvisen, Marce. Yo sé que ustedes pueden. Vladimir, hoy sí. Hoy sí terminaron la conversation. No. no. ¿Y por qué? Es que okay. Cuando le iba a dar enter al chat, le di enter a regresar a la room. Sorry, uh -huh. ya. Yeah. Ok, Vladimir, si pueden, den lo que tienen. Den lo que hasta donde han llegado. Well, Marce, Nehemiah, si no, hay... no, no hay casi nada, Vladimir. Ok. No, la okay. intro estábamos como que. Ah, ok. Gracias por llamar a... <laughs> Se quedaron. Ok, then. No sí. problem. Well, now that you are back, we will start with Marcela and Nehemias, please. Can you start? The último teacher. <laughs> ok. All right. Let's see. Rafa and Rina. Ok, teacher. Ok, ahorita, teacher. Vaya. Hi, Rafa. Sorry, I had a problem with the system. Hello, Rina. How come I help you? My computer not connect the system. Ok. Some messages on screen. Does not show any message. I see the problem is your computer is not connect the network. You can't connect the network cable, please. Okay, already connect the cable. I work the problem resolving. Nice, Rina. Nice, Rafa. Okay. Thank you, Rina, and thank you, Rafa. Let's continue with Jani and Zulma. Okay. Teacher, no la terminamos, pero vamos a darle el avance. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Eh, eh, hi. I am Janira, call department accountant. I have trolled the system. Hi, Jani. You told Rice we have that problem with the connection. Please restart the computer and the start up. Okay, I will this time. Ten. Okay. The confirmation, please. Okay, thank you. Okay, <laughs> thank you, Jackie, and thank you, Zulma. Okay, so Nehemias and Marce. Hello, technical support. My name is Marcela. How can I help you? Hello, my name is Nehemias. I have a problem with my laptop. What is your problem? The wireless mouse does not work for me. Plug the USB into another port. I be already try and check check it. Okay, make the como si dice warranty. Guarantee. 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 Bye. Make the guarantee claim in the store name. Yeah. Okay, I will return it tomorrow. Thank you. Okay, okay. very good. You finish. You see, you could do it. Thank you. Katia, can you continue? Katia and Renee. Okay. Good morning. This is Katia from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Katia. This is Rene. Um, I just called call in because the problem that I have is with my cell phone. 
uh, when I try to make calls, uh, after a few seconds, the call just drop. And this is happened no matter who I call in. Okay, let me ask you, you turn, you turn it on before the issue? Uh, yeah, um, I tried to, 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 I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, you turn off and you, you turn on and or restart the device before the issue? Uh, yeah, I, oh. I, I have really tried to, 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 to restart my phone several times, but the issue still persists. Okay, I see. You can send the device if we're going to check in and fix it. Okay, then sounds great. I will send the device then. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Bye. 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 <laughs> okay, thank you, Katia, and thank you, Rene. I, uh -huh. Rene can help you in that area, Katia, because he knows like the way you can start a conversation and the way we, we usually end it. So he has some information on that. Well, good conversations. I have some comments, some feedback. Because of the time, I'll give you that feedback tomorrow. Por el tiempo, les voy a dar el feedback mañana, ya que toda esta unidad es de tech support. Así que vamos a tratar varias cosas que tienen que ver con eso. Les puedo dar más saludos y despedidas. Y van a ver otras palabras que utilizamos ahí. I'm going to take the attendance. Um, Vladimir, solo usted me hace falta con la, con la sesión uno a uno. No sé si se puede quedar ahora o si hay alguien más que se quiera quedar o no sé si mañana. ¿Qué dice Vladimir? Teacher, eh, mejor mañana de a mí mañana. porque está lloviendo y tengo serios problemas con el internet. Ok, sí, es cierto. Okay. ¿Hay alguien más? Que se quiera quedar entonces. Um, no sé si. Sí, Ajá, se puede repetir. Vaya, aprovechemos. Ok, um, voy a pasar entonces asistencia. I'm going to take attendance really quick. We start with Daisy Yesenia. Daisy. Ok, thank you, Daisy. And then Doris Elizabeth. Iris Joana. Uh, Jennifer Marcela. Present. Okay, thank you. Hold on. Mm, Jose Mario. Katia Gabriela. Present. Lisette del Carmen. Maricela del Carmen. Mm, Nehemías. Regalo. Present teacher. Thank you. And then Nelson Alberto and Nelson René. Rafael Antonio. Present teacher. René Guardado and Rina Espinosa. Present teacher. Thank you. Rosy and Vladimir. Present teacher. Yanira and Zulma. Present teacher. Zulma. Present, teacher. Present. Okay, thank you. So I have all of you here now. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the rest of the day. Sweet dreams. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, just one more. Bye, then. Bye. Take care. Ok, Katia. Entonces, ¿practicamos lo de would or could o hay algo más que quisieras que practicáramos o viéramos en estos minutos? ¿Qué opinas? Es sobre, digamos, lo que vimos en la semana, ¿verdad? Yo Ajá. lo entiendo, o sea, Ajá. lo entiendo, pero tal vez ponerme en las situaciones de, de lo que estábamos viendo ayer, ¿verdad? Es difícil identificar. ¿Qué se utiliza aquí o, 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 
como todo lo, lo que vimos, ¿verdad? Pero eh, yo lo, lo entendí bien, ¿verdad? Solo que se me hace como que como... poner en práctica más, ¿verdad? Para... Ajá. Sí, porque Entonces, a veces tuve cuesta. problemas. Mm -hmm. Sí. Sí. Tuve sí. problemas en eso, ¿verdad? Y al hacer eh, las conversaciones también, ¿verdad? Poner este, en orden todo, ¿verdad? Y que se podría, se podría entender, ¿verdad? Mejor. Básicamente esos son mis problemas, pero pienso que con la práctica sí. <ríe> podría sí. mejorar. Sí, es la práctica, porque uno a veces puede entender, pero a veces cuando algo se le hace difícil uno tiene un poco de dificultad en crearlo, no tanto por no entenderlo, sino porque es un, un nuevo idioma. Y, y pues vas empezando, ¿verdad? Vamos en el nivel 2, entonces hay, hay muchas cosas que a veces uno quisiera decir, pero como todavía va empezando, hay muchas estructuras que aún no, no tienes contigo. Entonces limita el número de oraciones que uno puede crear. Y hay, al limitar eso ya uno se siente corto de palabras y, y se limita a solo ese tiempo, ¿verdad? Entonces ahí sí, Katia, es más de practicar y de tiempo. Como los bebés, ¿verdad? Aprenden a caminar, pero no caminan rápido de una vez, sino que van poquito a poquito. Pero sí, yo siento de que en las oraciones, en los role plays, y por eso los he estado haciendo también más, no sé si has notado, pero en los últimos días hemos tenido role plays casi que, es raro el día que no, casi todos, todos los, días, los días. Ajá, hemos estado teniendo role plays. ¿Por qué? Porque eso ya es como a la práctica, la gramática, no solo en, en papel, sino ya ahora en, en una conversación. Y entre más uno sí. lo hable o lo practique, ya se le va quedando más y más y más qué hacer. Y siempre hay feedback, ¿verdad? Como les mencioné. No se los doy ahora por, porque teníamos que, que terminar con la clase. Pero sí, ya poco a poco ahí vas a ir mejorando aún más. Sí. Uh -huh. Entonces sí me, me quedé, este, digamos, como confundida, ¿verdad? Pero yo creo que en la clase de ayer sí me quedó más, más claro todo, ¿verdad? Y, y anoté todo. Todos los, toda, toda la, la información. Todo. Ajá. Ajá. Solo es de estudiarlo, pero no, a veces no me queda mucho tiempo. Sí. Pero, sí. Todo, todo lo que trabajo. vimos, ¿verdad? Porque, ajá, imagínense que ya lo de Simple Present ya se me ha olvidado todo, entonces lo tengo que volver a repasar. Ay, entonces, ajá. Ajá. ¿Qué este, pasa? Eh, Ajá. Tenía que practicar más, entonces nos vamos a poner sí. ahí las pilas. ¿no? Sí, ajá, y con el tiempo, porque ahorita ya para las conversaciones se utiliza Simple Present en sí. algunos momentos, o a veces ajá. tiene que uno cambiarlo. Vamos a ver mañana otras cosas que van a ayudar a, a poder pues, expresar lo que uno quiere, ¿verdad? En inglés. Pero sí, si quieres, este, puedo explicarte could en or will son dos temas así totalmente distintos por decirlo así así que siento que para ponerlo de manera fácil en inglés hay como tres tres maneras o cuatro de hablar en el futuro una es la que vimos de present continuous verdad pero también existe going to, que no sé si lo has escuchado o visto en algunas oraciones y está will Ajá. que la manera contractada porque la negativa es will not pero la contracción es así es one ahora creo que hasta la fase no me recuerdo en qué fase o nivel ya vemos la diferencia entre uno y otro. Pero para hacerlo un poco sencillo, will se utiliza para hablar de futuro. Como si yo quiero decir que voy a ir a la playa, solo utilizo el sujeto, pongo will y el verbo. I will go. 
the beach. I will go, me escucha, que está lloviendo bastante fuerte. Sí, se la escucha muy, como si estuviera lejos. Okay. Uh -huh. Voy a ir a cerrar la ventana. Give me one second. Okay. Ahora tal vez me escuchas un poquito mejor, ya, menos tuya. Ok, entonces, will es la palabra mágica, por decirlo así, que uno utiliza para hablar en futuro. Solo va subject, will, verb, y el verbo va así en su base form. No se le pone ni quita nada, y el complemento. Ya con eso ya tenemos una oración en, en futuro. I or she will study English tomorrow. Y ya es futuro. Siento que will es uno de los tiempos más fáciles porque no hay que quitarle ni ponerle a los verbos. Solo se pone will y ya con eso ya es futuro. Solo I will, she will, they will, we will. Lo que sea will y el verbo. Y, sí, ajá. sí eh, viendo eso, este, yo lo, lo que mi cabeza lo, lo puso todo, ¿verdad? Fue que eh, will y want sería como lo que yo quiero, ¿verdad? Y could o sería para preguntar si tú puedes, ¿verdad? O algo. Y ajá. preguntar a... It depends. Could se puede utilizar como en cinco o seis maneras, depende del contexto. Could lo podemos utilizar, por ejemplo, para una habilidad que teníamos, ajá, como podía, como algo que podía ser. Porque, ajá, la traducción podría decirse que es podría, ¿verdad? Pero también puede ser podía. Y depende del contexto, puede utilizarse para expresar habilidades que uno tenía, como I could run fast. Que antes yo podía correr rápido, como una habilidad que, que poseía, pero que ya no. Esa es una manera, pero could también puede utilizarse como para pedir algo de una manera amable. O para preguntar como si puede ir al baño, podría ir al baño. Ya es como para pedir un permiso. Como, could I go to the bathroom? Así que, could, es, si no me equivoco, si sí está en el tercer módulo, algunos de los usos que se le da. O también puede ser para probabilidad de algo, como algo que tal vez podría pasar. Creo que casi igual que en español, porque lo utilizamos para, quizás podría ir como para probabilidad, lo utilizamos. Así que depende del contexto, podría ser eso. Sí, Diferentes yo lo había, lo había oído en esas dos versiones, ¿verdad? Que este, como preguntar, ¿verdad? Si podría, ¿verdad? Y, y, y esa de, de podría suceder, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero no la había escuchado en, en yo podía hacer esto, ¿verdad? Como de no habilidades. La había Ajá, de habilidad no la había escuchado en eso. Ah, así Entonces, también. Uh -huh. Más o menos sí, ya, ya tenía la idea, ¿verdad? Pero yo siempre pregunto todo. Sí, sí, me, me gusta que preguntes porque hay algunos que les da pena. Entonces, tal vez la pregunta que tú tienes es la misma que puede tener Nehemías o la misma que puede tener Marisela, pero si no la preguntas, no lo sabrían. Así que siempre tiene que haber alguien que se atreva a preguntar, por decirlo así. Y son preguntas buenas. Yo lo lamento si a veces no puedo contestar todo, pero... Como llevamos un programa, ¿verdad? De cosas que tenemos que ver, estudiar. A veces no me puedo solo enfocar en el vocabulario. Y sé que eso es algo que podrían buscar ustedes después, el vocabulario. 
Pero ya cuando es más de estructuras, ahí sí yo entro, ¿verdad? Porque sé que eso no tan fácilmente a veces uno lo va a estudiar. Pero vocabulario sí lo podemos buscar, <ríe> lo podemos investigar. Sí, y además es bien fácil, ¿verdad? Porque en las primeras uh -huh. ¿Qué respuesta, ¿verdad? Ya lo tiene todo usted ahí. Entonces, uh -huh. es súper fácil, pero este, igual este, solo preguntando se aprende, ¿verdad? Ajá. Hay que preguntar. Así que sí. Igual, que este, uh -huh. igual este, solo tenemos dos horas y también se entiende, ¿verdad? Que <risa> no todas las preguntas sean contestadas, pero en el momento, yo por sé. eso te menciono de que si te quedas, yo puedo contestarlas. Porque a veces son preguntas como que son así como bien complejas. Pero sí, tal vez puedo buscar una manera así rápida, sencilla, para explicar algo así en menos de 30 segundos. Sí, Ajá. lo que yo, yo sentí es el cambio, ¿verdad? Porque estábamos... Este, Aprendiendo cada día, ¿verdad? Algo nuevo, ¿verdad? Como de la estructura, ¿verdad? Y ah, de las palabras. Ajá. Y ahora, este. No, eh, no tan así. Empe eh, empezamos a mezclar este siempre present, lo otro y, y tratar de unificarlo todo, ¿verdad? Pero siento que practicando, ¿verdad? Y muchas sí. gracias. Muchas gracias, you're welcome. Y pues ahora solo falta Vladimir que tome su, su sesión y de ahí pues queda abierto, ¿verdad? Así que si te quieres quedar otro día, con mucho gusto. Oye, te puedes quedar okay. y, y yo ahí contesto las preguntas que no pude contestar en la clase. Ok. <risa> ok, Carmen. Buenas noches. Good Adiós. night, see you tomorrow.